Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and today we are going to speak regarding an important topic, uh, the mistakes, uh, mistakes which are people are making in the game and it is affecting the long time future of your uh, town and your army. Uh, so what we need to do to avoid those mistakes, so we will progress in a good way and we will compete in a many different wars. And we will have like highest uh, power, uh, good legions, and so on. First of all, um, the first mistake which might appear is in the first minute whenever you are you make a registration on the Call of Dragons. Uh, you have a choice of making three, uh, like choosing the faction from three different factions. First one is Spring Wardens, uh, second one is League of Order, and third one is Wilderberg. So at first it's just uh, like whenever you are starting the game, uh, it's just a, a woman uh, in green, uh, bearded man in a, a blue town kinda, and the orc, right? Uh, whenever you will read the uh, one by one the description of which uh, faction gives you what, uh, you understand that uh, League of Order is a perfect way to start in, uh, whenever you are starting or even late game. First of all, if you are not amazed regarding overall or gathering speed, uh, like um, I have been playing this game already for 8 months and trust me, uh, the Celestials are one of the best units in the whole game and that's uh, simply one of the main reasons why League of Order is amazing. And also, uh, in the beginning and in the late game, uh, Walder is one of the best, uh, if not the best, epic hero. And it's I highly recommend to awaken uh, Walder as soon as possible. So I, I know it might sound that, like, first of all, when I started this game, I chose Spring Wardens because uh, Grenwyn looked like a Legolas and I love Lord of the Rings. But, like, during the playing the game, I understand that I should have went with League of Orders. It's more fun, uh, better troops, uh, Celestials are amazing. Uh, so, like, uh, if we will compare during war situations, uh, melee cavalry flying unit is bad, you will just die. And in the Wilderbergs uh, has a, a marksman uh, flying unit, but that you need to still go close. But League of Order has Celestials, which are ranged flying units, and ranged mage units has highest range in the game. Uh, that's a fact. So, first mistake uh, you guys need to avoid is to not to choose uh, League of Orders. You need to choose League of Orders 100% of times. Uh, so, now let's move on on another mistake. One of the, I'm not gonna say one of the main mistakes people are making is they are overexcited whenever they have a chance to upgrade skill level of the legendary or epic hero, for example, right? Everybody needs to understand that one of the like main skills of uh, the heroes are first skill. So whenever you are level upping your hero and uh, upgrading them, you have a chance to uh, unlock stars. And whenever you unlock the stars, you unlock the new skills, right? Your priority should be to uh, upgrade the first skill to the 5 level to get the skill damage factor to the maximum. Like, first skill is always the maximum. And after that, you can simply, uh, like, if, if you don't have resources, you can go 5, 1, 1, 1, and that's already amazing. Especially for legendary um, heroes. Uh, your priority should be first skill on 5, and then whichever it will land, let it be, let it land, okay? Like, first skill is most important. Uh, same uh, is with epic heroes, but uh, getting epic hero tokens is pretty easy uh, whenever you are simply playing the game. So, still upgrade the first skill to the 5 level, and then um, I'm sure if you are playing the game, you will awaken any epic uh, hero in like one and a half month. So, like, um, especially for legendary heroes, uh, first skill should be on a 5 level. As you can see, uh, any hero which I use, uh, I have 5 uh, level on my first skill, right? Uh, that's the main idea. Uh, five, look at this, 5 one, one. Uh, I don't have uh, first skill open, but my priority was to upgrade first skill, and then uh, like I will upgrade them slowly. Uh, another uh, mistake uh, which people are making is not utilizing their gatherers. Um, like, everybody should understand, gatherers are amazing because of talents. 
Uh, Air Grace is an amazing talent, like you are getting percentage of number of resources gathered up to maximum 12,000 XP. So it means whenever you are gathering, you are getting experience. Uh, Air Grace is important talent to upgrade, like simply you don't have a choice at first here, right? But whenever you are moving forward, uh, Air Grace 2 is must. Uh, the way to go, don't forget to upgrade the Airscrays to the maximum level. Uh, Logistic uh, Master is also great, and in the end, it's always to get like extra reward whenever you will have uh, you will duplicate uh, deplete the node of the resource. Okay, uh, like it might sound nothing like one uh, chest, uh, but whenever you are farming a lot, these chests are getting collected, and in the end, you are having a big amount of resources in these small chests. So remember, uh, like uh, there is a couple of talents for gatherers which you need to understand and which you need to um, upgrade at first. Air is here, uh, Air is here, uh, second one uh, for gathering uh, logistic master, and the windfall is great. Uh, so we're gonna continue. Like there is a couple of mistakes still. Uh, like whenever I'm playing the war situation, I still see that. Uh, there is some legions with, like, for example, magic um, attribute hero and uh, like Eliana, simply because overall, uh, guys, whenever there is a war and whenever you are fighting against um, the real people, other real people, not the uh, darklings and such as, it's always better to have uh, like both heroes same attribute. For example, uh, Nico is marksman, Kinaro is marksman, already a great pair, right? Walder is magic, uh, Welling is a magic too, great pair. Regarding like overall heroes, they are not amazing in the uh, battlefield for PvP. PvP is like playing against players, like fighting. They are overly good in the game, they, they can impact uh, the PvP section of the game against real players, but they won't be amazing, they should not be your main choice. For example, latest use of Eliana is like Garwood as a primary infantry and Eliana as a secondary. Why? Not because Eliana is so amazing uh, to you include her in every single um, legion. Simply because of her skills, they have a synergy with Garwood skills and that's why Eliana is used with Garwood. Uh, the other, uh, the one of the most uh, important exclusions about this is only Thea can be used in, as an overall hero, can be used in almost every uh, kind of situations during uh, wars, like, you can use a Thea with everything, but, like, uh, Eliana with everything is not a good idea, uh, Indis with everything is not a good idea, uh, Pen with everything is not a good idea, only Thea uh, with almost every single hero can be useful in every, any kind of situation in the game. Uh, now, let's continue to the other mistakes which people are making. Uh, it's regarding policies. Um, it's always better to prioritize daily elixir production rather than uh, daily resource healing. The daily resource healing is taking a lot of resources out of you and it's always better to use those resources uh, to research something, to make a new construction, uh, or in general to collect it, because later in the game every single research or every single construction costs a lot. So uh, your priority should be always daily elixir production. Here, uh, daily elixir speed, uh, you move forward, uh, daily elixir production again, and daily elixir uh, production speed. This is the way to go. Uh, don't focus on daily resource healing, uh, it's a waste of resources, okay? In the, like, Argent situations, you can spend resources uh, on uh, healing your army, but it's not, it should not be your way of playing. You will, you should always play around your daily uh, elixir production and daily elixir production speed. Uh, so, let's continue with the, like, gems and stuff, like... For example, my I am a free-to-play player, and I will say what kind of mistakes we should we as a free-to-play players we avoid regarding gems. Uh, like there is a couple of uh, first choices where we need to spend gems. First of all, we need to get a second builder. That's the way to go. Don't spend any gems on anything. First, get second builder. Uh, it's most important thing for you to do, right? Like double construction is amazing. Uh, as soon as you get a second builder, you your priority should be to get uh, level 8 uh, uh, VIP shop 
in order to get second research queue uh, on your research tab, okay? Same. At first, we spend gems on double construction and double research. After that, it's your choice. If you want to spend some gems to uh, get more VIP levels, but it costs a lot, your decision. Personally, me, uh, after that, I spend my gems only on artifacts and only on new heroes. That's the way to go, in my opinion. Don't spend gems on finishing construction or finishing the... Uh, research like it's a waste of gems for free to play players in my opinion and one of the and last uh, mistake which i i have here that i have seen and uh, the mistake which is a uh, one of the biggest mistakes in the whole game don't stop yourself to join in the alliance alliance is one of the most important aspect of the whole game you will progress way, way slower if you will be on a bad alliance or if you aren't gonna be in an alliance at all so Try, uh, like, as soon as possible, try to get in a good alliance. Uh, whenever you make a, any activity, you are getting free resources like this. Whenever somebody is paying money in the game, you are getting, uh, like, rewards, so VIP shop rewards, some gems, some speed-ups, as you can see. 500 gems because my alliance member bought a goal, some Blizzard journey. Amazing, right? Um, also, whenever you upgrade some technology in alliance tab, you are getting free prestige. And that's again one of the main reasons why you should be in alliance as soon as possible uh, again you are getting helps help is reducing the time of the anything you are doing besides recruiting the army like whenever you are researching something or, or doing construction like uh, my alliance helped me for like almost one day to reduce the arcana, arcana knowledge too and again uh alliance shop whenever where you can simply doing activities in the game you are getting uh, speed ups and whenever you are playing the game fighting with against uh, other alliances you are getting merits and you can see what kind of rewards you can purchase with merits like important stuff like the whole alliance section is very important so as soon as you start the game it's my advice to uh, to join the alliance and try to be in a good alliance also like that should be your priority um, last mistake uh, which i will uh, speak today about is regarding the uh, quests the challenges and rewards like try to do daily quests it's very important to receive all these rewards 100 gem two tokens per like per day and you are choosing the tokens as you can see this like just because i was doing dailies every day that's how I got this, uh, this Heroes Awakened. And now it's time for the Atheists. Rewards are amazing. It's easy to, to do these rewards. Uh, also, weekly ones. So you simply, by playing the game, you are doing the quests and you are getting kind of amazing rewards as a free-to-play play player too. And if you will buy the Inside Rune, you are getting even much, much, much better rewards. So... Don't forget to, to do these quests, dailies are important, weeklies are important, uh, and it matters where you're gonna finish your like quest, right? Uh, free legendary tokens, why you should uh, miss those rewards? Uh, it's very easy to complete every day. So, this is um, what I wanted to speak uh, regarding mistakes which I think people are making and I have seen them making. Uh, I hope this video will be helpful for you guys. Um, like, if you will have, if you have any questions regarding anything in the game, uh, feel free to ask. I will try to take videos or answer into the comment section. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.